Good morning. I hope this Hazel Park E! News finds you well on this very mild December 2nd. Can you believe the temperature that we are seeing on this day? I hope you're well as we continue in our journey of Advent and as we continue to dive further into our theme for this season called a Close, uh, close to Home. It is using the creative online resource from Sanctified Art, where it incorporates liturgy, poems, art, prayers, in a beautiful and lovely way for us to experience Advent. In this, on the last Sunday, we talked about being homesick and how we have all found ourselves longing to be home again, whatever that means in this time for each of us. It has been a year of deep struggle, a year with so much change, and yet what do we long for and what makes us whole? So as we continue to hear the words that were expressed in scriptures last week about how Jesus was uh, sharing an, uh, a little apocalyptic moment of hope. And now this Sunday, we hear the words of Elizabeth and Zechariah as they are greeted with the birth of their baby, John, who then becomes John the Baptist. This is a time for us to be mindful of God's promised day of our everlasting home, and yet, though not fully realized, is there waiting for us in this season. So I hope that you're able to plug into some of the things that are before you. There's an Advent calendar and an Advent devotional that you can see online, or if you prefer hard copies, let me know and I will get those to you. As we continue to forge ahead then in this season of Advent, this Saturday will be a time of preparation from 9 to noon. If you would like to help bring Christmas items up from the basement and get it all ready to go as we get ready for then our Hanging of the Green service on Sunday at 10 a.m., I would welcome your assistance as it is a way for us to mark this occasion in our community as we get ready and transform our space into hope, peace, joy, and love. Again, this Saturday at nine, from nine to noon, anytime, even if you have an hour, even if you have a half hour, come on over, the coffee will be hot, um, we'll be here, and then, sat, and then Sunday morning at 10 a.m. And all ages are invited to participate in the Hanging of the Green service. So if you're not able to make it on Saturday, uh, be here by 930 on Sunday morning and we will run through things. Um, it'll be a great day. I want to uh, close our time together with a poem though that's written by um, Sarah Speed, Reverend Sarah Speed. And she is one of the authors for um, our Lenten devotional uh, close to home, or I'm not Lent, I'm thinking about Lent, our Advent devotional, uh, Close to Home. And she writes a poem entitled Homesick, and it reads like this. How do you describe homesickness to a child? You don't. They know. Children know the feeling of being away from home. It's fear dipped in loneliness that what if I've been forgotten sonnet or the what if I can't go back refrain. Even a healthy, scrubbed clean, showered with love child knows the longing of home. But if I had to, if I had to describe that aching feeling, I would say homesickness is when longing and grief wrap themselves around you like a blanket. It's the door to comfort thrown open. It's an eye on the horizon for what could be. And the only way out is to keep walking, to keep dreaming, to keep looking for signs that will point you back home.
And if you tell that to a child, you just may realize that a part of your spirit has shoes on and has always been walking, always been dreaming, always been looking for the home that could be. The door to comfort has been blown open. Tell God I'm homesick. I'm on my way. Friends, God is with us in this journey. I know it to be true. I hope to see you on Sunday or on some Sunday in the season of Advent, whether it is in person or online. God's light and love be with you on this day and in the days ahead.